Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are going to take a look into Capricorn's Broken Heart Tarot reading for the month of June. In this message we are going to tap into the energies with the Romance Angel Oracle deck. Then we will dig a little bit deeper into the message with an original tarot deck. And in this message, we are going to try and uncover what your part of the problem here is, what their part, how each of you can fix this. Other influences, can it be saved, and is it worth it? Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general. They are not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For more information on how to book a personal reading, the energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings, all linked below in the description box and Capricorn if you like how I vibe you like how I interpret the cards you are more than welcome to join us everyone is welcome here and it does help set your intentions for future messages so Capricorn release your ex the time has come to clear your energy new love a new person has steered your romantic feelings. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Healing family issues. Okay. There's a need to let go of somebody from your past. Okay. And focus on new, this new person. There's something that's being triggered here within you. That's healing these family a family conflict or a family issue now this could be with your parents but this could also symbolize um a sibling conflict something along those lines doesn't always have to be part of this i'm feeling here capricorn is having to do with releasing this x this past energy so, let's dive a little bit deeper here. Guess that clears up any questions if you um, had to make a decision, right? Let's see. Most important message here for Capricorn spirit with this Capricorn need to see for the month of June regarding this broken heart tarot spread. What does Capricorn need to see for the month of June? Please and thank you. Holding on to the past, looking back in sadness. The Five of Cups, there's always an opportunity that you're missing because you're too focused on the past. Let's take a look. I feel like your person knows this. But I also feel like they may have their own healing process that they're having to go through as well. The cycle is completing. I feel like you are releasing this slowly but surely. Okay. Your partner is being very cautious with how they proceed in this. I do feel like you may feel this. You may feel like they're a little standoffish at times energy between you guys is causing stress, anxiety, worry. There's going to be 
an opportunity to move forward but the question lies here have you healed because underneath that four of swords on the bottom of the deck we have the two of swords so there's this indecisive energy here capricorn and i feel like it's having to do with this past energy now, if there was any question, if this person needed to be released, if this person needed to be let go, I feel like this opportunity isn't going to come your way until you release this completely, only because you're going to, you're not able to see this person right in front of your face due to being focused too much on the past. That's interesting. Now you have the strength card, Capricorn. Hmm. Acceptance of your past. Acceptance of whatever has gone on in this past situation. Awareness is going to be key in this. Your person is ready. They are ready, but I feel like they're just proceeding with caution. They just want to make sure that everything is on the up and up, that everything is balanced, that everything is as it should be. You know, you can't blame them. If you're focused on a past situation, there may still be potential in you going back to that past releasing this conflict beautiful beautiful capricorn so i do feel like you are releasing this past situation slowly but surely and your person here knows can sense what's going on they may know that you're having to clear up some confusion um, that you may be having to end some situations that are no longer serving you. But ultimately here, I feel like they, they can sense that um, this healing is taking place for you. And I also hear Capricorn get the sense that um, that's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for you to release this past connection. Whether they physically know this or this is something that they intuitively sense, they can, they can tell that there's something going on with you. You're releasing something. This person that is coming in or is new in your life, the new person, out with the old and with the new, Maybe. Let's get a few cards out here for your advice, Capricorn, for this situation. I do feel like there is potential here. Okay, the other influences is on your side, Capricorn. You're the one that has, um, is conflicted and also looking back on the past. Okay. This is worth it. It is. It does have potential here, but you guys are going to need to get on the same page. You guys are going to have to come together. And I also feel like there's going to need to be healing. So, advice for Capricorn. There's a need to make a decision. Decision needs to be made here, okay? I feel like the seeds have been planted. You intuitively know what you need to do, which direction you need to go, um, what decision is best for you. I do feel like it's letting go of this past connection moving forward with this new person coming in. But this isn't happening very quickly. It's a lot of very slow, very 
decisive action, move, movement forward. And I also want to say this, Capricorn, the ball is in your court. You, the decision is going to be up to you. I feel like both people will be ultimately waiting around until you put your foot down and make the decision. So that communication piece is going to be key. Let's pull out a soul journey card. If you guys find this message helpful, give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated and does help get the message out there. Also, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below. In the extended version, we're going to take a look into your person's intentions. Um, what are the next steps moving forward, where this is headed. We will also pull out the Archangel Guidance cards and the Soul Truths. If that's something you guys are interested in, you are more than welcome in joining us over there on Vimeo. So Capricorn, the soul journey card that's coming out for you guys is grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Nothing is gone forever. The belief that we have lost something or someone is merely an illusion to assist us in learning to appreciate our having had it in the first place. The emotion of grief and the sense of loss are absolutely real, but that is the point. The lesson of loss is not about the actual physical separation because the parting is temporary and illusory. The point of the lesson is to acknowledge that the bonds of love never end and that we have not been abandoned. When you accept in your heart that you will be reunited with everything you have ever loved, it will give you the ability to move beyond your grief and derive something beneficial from the experience. To wallow in grief is to pass up the opportunity that you and your soul family have devised and learned nothing from it. Instead, allow your grief to take you to a place of deeper understanding. So, Capricorn, that's interesting, having to release your ex and grieve that process, but I do get the sense that there is a little bit of a holding on to the past and a need to let go. I release all fears and doubts. I now choose to free myself from all destructive fears and doubts. I accept myself and create peace in my mind and heart. I am loved. I am safe. I release all fears and doubts. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Capricorn. So Capricorn, that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this month. Clearing up the confusion and making a choice. That player-esque type of energy, it's no longer serving people. That not making a decision, that one foot in, one foot out. It's time to accept and move forward into a new wonderful experience because there's there were things that you needed to learn there and now there are going to be things that you need to learn here Capricorn okay so Capricorn that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this month Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. If you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below in the description box. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.